so we're here it's Friday today welcome back <laughs> you about ideas being your competitive currency because it's the ideas that you have and that the people in your business have that separate you from the rest. They're the things that give you the real distinction and determine the success of your business. And today we're going to be thinking about ideas to do with customer experience because obviously you know to grow your business you're going to need to keep the customers you've got, delight them and also attract new customers as well. So, what we've got for today are two different techniques. The first technique is called bug listing and it's a really good technique for entrepreneurial thinking. So, I'm just going to give you a bit of a story because as you know, a lot of entrepreneurs start their businesses because they are dissatisfied with something or because product or service doesn't exist to fulfil a need that, that they have. So they go and take action and do something about that and start a business. Well, I've got a fantastic person that I've worked with over the last few months called Adeem Yunis. So hi, Adeem, if you're watching. Adeem is the founder and director of a company called singlemuslim.com and they're based in Wakefield, but they're actually an international brand. It's a Muslim matrimonial site. For those of you who know in, in, in Islam, it's really important for, um, for marriage because it completes the faith. Now, Adeem was, it was a young guy. You can read all about his story. I've written more about it in the playbook. And he wanted to get married. His family wanted him to get married, but he wasn't very happy with the choices that his mum and auntie were coming up with. So he thought, well, how do I, how do I find the right partner in life for me? So what he did was he started an online site, singlemuslim.com. He did actually find his, uh, his partner, his wife, through the site and they've gone on to actually be successful with putting people together for thousands of happy marriages. So that's an example, a really good example of where something hasn't existed, there's been a bug. In his case it was marriage and he was very entrepreneurial and he's won so many awards and also has gone on to start uh, a charity called The Penny Appeal which generates so much money for countries including the UK all around the world to help people. So your first activity then is to think about all the things to do with your products and services that bug your existing and potential customers. So it could be that things might take too long or there might be certain things that are too expensive or that, you know get in the way or something they'd like something to exist that doesn't exist yet and make a list of all of those. And then what you do is step back and say, okay, so what can we do? What could we do to solve these? You know, if we were to solve all of these, what would we need to do? And make some choices then about which ones you can actually take forward to steal a march on your competition. So that's activity number one. Now, activity number two, which you can do as well as bug listing or instead of, is to map the customer journey experience. So that's how the customer experiences your business, your products and services, all the way through their interactions with you. And you think about every single stage. So again, all the details on how to do this step by step are in your playbook. And essentially what you do is you think about the discovery phase, so how customers find out about you, the research phase, how they then work out whether or not you are someone that they want to buy from, then into the purchase decision, how easy is it or how difficult is it to purchase from you, the delivery of the product or service and then the after sales. So just to give you a really quick example, now all the way you're thinking about things like what's influencing the customer, how they're feeling, their emotions, the task, the job that they're trying to do um, on the way and what it's like for customers at every stage. So I am here, I'm so lucky, at the beautiful Rockcliffe Hall just near Darlington in the northeast of England and I'm working here for a few days. So my discovery of this place, which is beautiful, was that I've actually been here for a previous event. I was invited to come and um, run an event for somebody else and I thought, well, what an amazing place. I experienced fantastic customer service. It has all the facilities that are great. So the, that was the discovery piece, was somebody else introduced me to Rockcliffe Hall. In terms of research, I then needed to find out did they have availability? Uh, how much is it to book a room? What about spa treatments? How 
like spa treatments are very good, very good for creativity, relaxes the mind. How much of those are they available too? So I did some research. Now that process was really quick and easy. Everything I needed was online. The staff, when I emailed to ask certain questions, it, incredibly responsive and really, really friendly and helpful as well. So the research process, they made that dead easy. And they also made the payment process when I came to, to buy super easy to pay. In terms of the actual experience, the delivery of the product or service, well, I'm experiencing that uh, now. They're amazing, you know, lots of lovely uh, frothy coffee, really helpful. I'm filming, they don't mind. They've been so kind about the filming and they can't do enough. Uh, really, really lovely. After sales, now I'm not at that point because I'm still here, obviously, but I would expect them to uh, send me a survey, a follow-up, a thank you for staying, and also request some feedback. And obviously, uh, uh, if I leave anything behind, or I'd expect them to be really helpful in terms of trying to help me find it, for instance. So that just gives you a little example of how to think about the customer journey experience. Full details in your playbook, as I've said. So I really hope you enjoy this. This is really, really good for you to do for your business. It gives you a different point of view. The important thing then, is once you've done that, is to go back and say, okay, how can we make this amazing? It's amazing and quick and convenient and enjoyable at every stage for our customers. What can we do better? I will see you tomorrow where we're thinking about creativity for cost efficiency. See you then.